Team Jackson, what's happening? So y'all keep asking me, man, to explain why a dude will look at you, maybe even stare at you, but not make a move. And I'm going to tell you why, because a lot of y'all are under the misconception that it has something to do with fear. It's because he's scared. That's not true. You know, we, even if we're talking about a decent dude, a good guy with plenty of heart and confidence, it ain't because of fear. Now, if you're talking about the absolute worst of guys, then yeah, that may be one of them. And even then, I think there are other reasons that may come before that. Like, you know, he's married or he's taken, so he can look but not touch. So he's just going to admire from a distance, you know, because he's trying to halfway at least respect his relationship, which is a cool thing to do. Or because he's one of those creeps, one of those straight up weirdos the type that will smell your hair and want to smell your panties and print pictures of you from Instagram out and put them on his mirror and do things to himself because of like he could be one of those. Or he could be a part of this new flock of guys, this new generation of guys that says, you know what? I want a woman to come and chase me. A woman should be trying to court me and pursue me. Because in his mind, a woman gets hollered at like 10 to 15 times a day. So if you get an eye full of him and you just can't stay in your seat, you just must come and say something. Oh, that mean he the shit. That mean you're going to be easy work. Now, if we're talking about decent guys, right? A decent guy will look at you but not come and holler at you, not because he's fearful of you or scared of rejection, but because he expects rejection based on your body language. Huge difference because in the mind of the average man, right? He's looking at the situation. He sees a girl that he thinks is attractive, a woman or whatever. And he says to himself, <clears throat> I'm aware sometimes they don't want to be bothered. I'm aware that she could be having a bad day or that she could just be taken. So let me make sure I can verify that I'm on her radar. And once I do, once we make that eye contact, I'll go based on her body language. Now, if he gets the wrong signal from you, like if he gets what I call resting bitch face from you, RB face, if he gets that from you, it could be a misread on his part, or it could be something that you chronically suffer from. He ain't gonna make no move because RB face basically says that you're not in the mood to be bothered. And if you get bothered, you're gonna embarrass whoever it is that did it to you. Because women with RB face don't tend to reject people quietly and silently. They tend to make everybody around them aware that they did not feel like hearing from your ass and you should have known better. Now, like I said, some women suffer from this chronically. You just have it. And then sometimes it's situational. Like it may be just that time of your day. It may be because of that time of the month. It may be because you was on Twitter or Instagram and you're a barb and Cardi B them said some more shit. Or you looked in your email and, and Navient is thanking you for that automatic payment on your student loans when you didn't really want to make that automatic payment. They took it from your ass. It could be for a number of reasons. However you want to put it. If a dude look at you, right, he make eye contact with you. And then what he gets back from you is... He's not coming to holler at you, man. He's not going to do it. Or if he looks at you, he makes eye contact and he gets to. He's not going to come and holler at you. That's just what it is. It's not fear. It's a, you know what? Let me not waste both our times. I'm going about my day. She's still fine because you rejected him to stop you from being sexy as hell. But let me go ahead and go on about my day. I don't need those problems. Now, if you are in the mood to be hollered at by a dude, you're single, you're ready to mingle, and you want to kind of open that door from a distance, my favorite two ways to do it is instead of giving him the what the fuck are you looking at eyes, the one I did earlier, to give him the, okay, you're going to look at me all day or you're going to come and actually ask me for my number and name eyes, which is the, that's, that's, that's one of my favorites. Now the other one, the other one would be the, uh, we ain't going to do this all day. Your time is running out. So if you're going to make a move, you better hurry eyes, which is to look at him and then slowly look away, but kind of grin like. Like, all right, motherfucker, you better hurry up. But however you want to put it, man, the point that I was making is if a guy doesn't come and holler at you, but he's been looking at you or he continues to look at you nine times out of ten, it ain't because he's fearful.